sanctify that means we give everything to God Mungu mmemtendea jambo nzuri. We did you did something good for God. Na ninyi mmembariki Mungu. And you blessed God. Na kama mmembariki Mungu. And if you blessed God. Haya mbakie katika amani. It's okay to be in peace. Naye Mungu atakwenda kuabariki. And God will bless you. Mmembariki. You blessed him. Na atakwenda kuabariki. We go to bless you as well. Na kama mmembariki. As you bless him. Mmempatia jengo. You gave him this building. Naona ama kuna mambo mengine yanakuwa ndani. I see there is something inside here. Tusema kwamba the meaning of that is Yale ambao mko nayo. Wherever you have. Yale ambao mmempatia. Whatever you got you give to God. Si ya mwanadamu yeyote yule. It's not to any human being. Sijui mchungaji hapa kuna wengine ambao wanakuwa na vitu vyao ndani ya kanisa. I don't know from the past I there somebody was there. Mchungaji hapa. Personal belonging. Kuna mtu mwenyewe yuko na kitu chake hapa. If there is something that belongs to you that you have been saying, so when we will stand up and bless, that means everything we gave to God. When we are living, when you are living, don't say I'm living with this is mine. Kama if there is a keyboard, please, ya mutu. Kama ni ya mtu. If it belong to somebody. Uchukue, upeleke kwanza kama blood of Jehovah. Take it and just take back to your home before you can do anything. Ah. Tunaanza kusema tena. I said I repeat it again. Yo, yo, nikusema ikiwa una kitu chako hapa ndani. If you have something that belongs to you here. Tunakwenda kumpatia Mungu. We want to give to God. Watu walivyo bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko wote. Amesikiliza. Waimaji tuko. Kama uko na me, na microphone yenyewe unajua ni yako nyumbani. There is a microphone that is belong to you. Itukui peleka chumba kingine. Take it to a different room. Sababu tunatamani kufanya kazi ya kubariki. Because we want to do a job of blessing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nafikiri tumemeelewana. I believe we are clear. Wakati tunakwenda kwenda kubariki, when we want to bless, ah uh, tunampatia vyote. We give everything. Na wakati ha, hautakuwa, and when you are not usite here, kusema hiki kitu ni cha kwangu na kichukua na kipeleka. Don't say this is mine, I will take it. Ah uh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tungeliweza kusema mambo mengi lakini sababu ya mida ah, tunatamani tusome katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati. We want to read in the Deuteronomy. Sura 16. Deuteronomy 16. Na mstari wake wa 18 tunataka kwa 20. Neno la Mungu linasema hivi. The word of God said. Tunasoma Kumbukumbu la Torati 16 tunaanza 18 hadi 20. Weka mzi na maakida katika malango yako yote akupayo Bwana Mungu wako kwa hesabu ya kabila zote na wa 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 wa, wa, wa amue watu kwa maamzi ya haki usipotoe maamzi wala usipendelee uso wa mtu wala usitoe rushwa kwa kuwa rushwa hupofusha macho ya wenye akili na kugeuza dawa ya wenye haki 20 yaliyo haki kabisa ndiyo utakayoyafuata ili upate kuishi na kuurithi inchi upewao na Bwana Mungu wako amen 
intelligence officer in all your gate, which the Lord your God gives you according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people just uh, judgment. You shall not pervert justice, you shall not show partiality, nor take a bribe, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twist the word of the righteous. You shall follow what is altogether just, that you may live and inherit the land which the Lord your God is given you. Amen. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. This this building was given by God. Na hii nyumba and this building ina makabila mengi mengi tu. She has a lot of tribes. Na ina jaa kila watu. And is plenty of different people. Watu wa tabaka mbalimbali. People from different places. Na Mola Mungu nimetuambia hivi. The word of God said this. Katika jengo la Bwana in this the building of God ni pale tunapata mahusia ya kusikia maneno ya Mungu that where we have the right to hear the word of God ni pale tunasikia ukweli upo that where we hear the right thing haki ya Mungu inaonekana katika jengo the righteous of God who can sit in haki ya Mungu watu wa kuyo kuitafuta katika jengo the righteous of God will come to look for it in this building iweni na haki mnapoingia ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana make sure you have justice when you enter in wakati unakuingia ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana neno listen to the word na likukosoe likubadilishe usigeuze maneno ya Mungu don't change the word of God maneno ya Mungu ametuambia kwamba what God say uweke maakida so you can put judges na wako wawe ndani so they can be inside mahali hapa In this place hakuna habari za ukabila there is no story of tribes so nasema habari za ukabila kanisa if you are somebody talking about tribes the church pagani that one is a pagan kimbia right one na sisi because for us sisi for us ni mali ya bwana we are the riches of god hawa mzungu it can be a white person can be a black person can be short refu being tall hawa maskini being poor hawa tajiri being rich hapa tu mbele za bwana here we are in front of god katika nyumba ya bwana in the house of god tunatarajia kupata haki we are waiting to have to get justice katika nyumba ya bwana tunatarajia kupata ukweli waiting for the truth tunatamani kupata wokovu we need the salvation salvation itatupeleka mahali pa Mungu Yesu asifiwe sina fasi ya ukabila this is not a place for trouble sina fasi ya fujo sina fasi ya kutukanana ni fasi ya roho kuwa na amani it's a place of the heart to be in Mungu amewapatia jengo kuwa na amani You saw you can have it. Ni neno. Preach the word. Barikio watu. So the place we see ani watu. Na Mungu atakuwa pamoja nanyi. And God will be. Atawahifadhi. He will be. Na atapenda kuwabariki. And he will bless you. Ah, oh, katika nyumba hii, this house, ukisoma kutoka, when you are reading the Exodus, na tatu, Exodus to the three. Na mstari wa 6 hadi 7. Verse 6 and 7. Mungu inasema hivi. The word of God said this. Ya kwamba Nah. Haki the just haki just it will be us like for us for a poor Bwana wabariki. God bless. Kweli jambo la Bwana. In this house of God. Patia Bwana. Give to God. Bwana amewapatia. God gave you. Na muweze kuwa na haki. So you can have justice. Bwana awabariki. God bless. Katika neno lake. Is one. Mepewa nyumba hii. You are given this world. Haki iwepo. And justice be in this. Bwana wabariki. God bless. Bwana wabariki. Asante sana. Thank you. Tunatamani tusimamishe wahudumu. We want to uh, next to all the preacher the evangelist we want to touch and then we pray and give 